Hi guys, today we are doing a portrait shoot with this Samyang 24-70 f2.8 zoom lens. I believe it's the Samyang's first AF zoom lens. So uh, we're gonna test it out in a little kind of winter golden hour portrait shoot. We really have like probably 10 minutes of light. So without further ado, we're just gonna jump straight into the shooting. Here's post commentary me once again and while me is taking these pictures I'll run you through how this video is gonna work and I'll tell you more about this lens so you will see 100% um, file sizes on the screen as well as unedited on the side with camera settings and then you'll see my Lightroom edits while that all nice thing is uh, going on in the background you can see the weather was absolutely stunning and all the the snow and and the, the crispy snowflakes and and the branches are just made for the perfect day to take some portraits uh, as you can see we are shooting backlight so pay attention to um, any lens flares for example in in these um, photos in particular where you can see the sun in the background and talking about lens flares we're gonna be talking you through about the, the structure of the lens um, the things that I would probably guess most of us don't even understand uh, which are the 17 elements in 14 groups including two spherical elements three high refractive elements three extra low dispersion elements and a single HB element, which I have literally no idea what all that means. However, there is another element. One element also features Samyang's UMB coating for a reduced ghosting and flares. So yeah, I suppose that's something we can actually understand because it actually says what it does at the end. So reduced ghosting and flaring. We'll see how it fares in this video. So uh, this lens goes from aperture f2.8 all the way to f22 with a minimal focus distance of 35 centimeters, aka 0.35 five meters or 1.15 feet um, the front element is 82 millimeters so I'm guessing the filters for this lens are probably not gonna be the cheapest ones however looking across the market for 70 to 200 sorry for 24 to 70 lenses that's just about the size of all of them so that's something that you really need to bear in mind uh, again you can see us just using all the little environmental things we can possibly in, in, uh, in this nice um, sunset scene. We were kind of in a hurry because we really thought that the sun is going to go down pretty quickly but uh, it actually stayed up for uh, I, I guess slightly longer than, uh, than we both kind of hoped for. We can quickly run over some of the features that are gonna be probably more interesting for people that shoot video as well. So this lens comes with the linear stepping motor, STM autofocus system, and this lens actually is parfocal. So if you don't know what parfocal means, it is basically once the lens acquires the focus, you can zoom in and out, and it is electronically assisted in the inside of the lens to keep the focus just try focusing on something with your zoom lens and then try zooming in and out it will probably lose its focus well uh, Samyang claims that this lens um, it will will stay focused obviously probably the lighting uh, conditions probably need to be um, fairly good um, in a backlight condition like we are shooting right here you can see um, I'm not sure if that's gonna work very very well because every now and then it was a little bit um, hunting for the for the focus the IAF and the face detect works really really well but when we were chucking the snow up and down and the, the little snow particles got in the way of the face that that's when the lens kind of went like uh oh what's happening so uh, you'll see we pretty much feature the shots only where there's practically no snow in front of the face and another feature that probably will be in favor I would imagine maybe even for filmmakers uh, this lens comes with a mode um, switch on the side it says custom mode 1 and mode 2 when the switch is selected towards mode 1 your focus ring works just as a regular focus ring 
as soon as you flip it to mode 2, your focus ring um, works as an aperture ring, so you can control your aperture through the focus ring. So I don't know who has like who, who has a, a practical use for this feature, but it is definitely there. I've tried it out just today. Uh, it does work. Um, it took me almost a year to figure out what that switch does, but you know, better later than uh, never. Now some of the specs that we can actually understand. So we'll go through the physical uh, aspect of this lens. So physically uh, the maximum diameter of this lens is going to be 88 um, millimeters. So that's if you're thinking if you can fit it in your bag and the maximum length is going to be 128.5 millimeters, which is approximately 5.1 inch. It doesn't say if it's including the lens hood or not but that's something you really need to bear in mind around five inches long and about yeah eight eight nine centimeters um, in diameter weight wise it is just smidge over 1000 grams which is one kilogram 36.2 ounces it is solid full metal build um, the only two things that are not metal are the rings that are nice and rubbery and the only plastic thing on the lens itself is the the, the, the lens hood yeah that's that's all plasticky if you want to use this lens on a full frame obviously it's going to be 24 to 70 if you want to try and use it on the APS-C uh, Sony e-mount cameras then you need to bear in mind the crop factor which is essentially going to make it something like 36 mil to I don't know something like 100 or so um, with the view for full frame is going to be around 34 and a half degrees to 85.6 degrees and the APS-C sensor the view is going to be around the 23.4 degrees to 61.7 degrees um, Samyan claims it is weather sealed as well so yeah that's uh, a quick run through about this lens it has nine aperture blades, that's something I totally forgot to mention. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, this lens performs really, really well. You can tell that backlight conditions are probably not its favorite. But all in all, uh, if you look at the price compared to the competitors and like Sony's and Sigma's and things like that, this actually performs really, really well for the price. So thank you so much for watching. Obviously, you can judge uh, about the quality, about the Sony A7R3, uh, a bit older camera, and this lens by the photos you'll see in the video. Um, but yeah, the evening has been absolutely stunning. Uh, we've just nailed the last shots as the light is fading. Um, and yeah, that's where we're gonna leave you, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Bye.